Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato. Welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell on the PC. And yeah, this is my third attempt at doing this mission. I can't get through it. I just keep getting caught and caught and caught and killed and killed and killed. And eventually I lose it and just Mr. Blonde everybody. I am not the person to be playing this game. I am awful at this. So I have found cheats. Um, invisibility, by the way, I'm going to show off is not a good cheat. I'm actually not going to show it. Just it doesn't make you undetectable. It just removes you. So we're going to use invincible one. Therefore, I'm going. I'm going to try not to get shot. Good rule of thumb for real life. I'm going to try not to get shot. But if I do have to get into a fight, um, I will not die. I'm going to use ammo to give me full ammo. Because I can't keep playing this game by its own rules. It's fucking impossible for me. So I'm going to try the stealth, but if I get caught, I can get out of it. That's that's what I'm going for. There's too much smoke. Shoot out the skylight. Like, I'm sorry if you really look. I'm having such a bad time at this. You're doing my best. Good. Blaustein's black box is your next objective. He's running standard agency trade craft. You'll find the box behind a fake bookshelf or roll panel. Also, for the, the ammo cheat, I really need, because lights in this game are almost impossible to shoot out, because you have to hit the right... Like, the whole light isn't a hitbox. It's only one bit of the light. Fortunately, it does. I don't think it matters if these guys see you. There we go. Now this bit is difficult. Um, this gave me a lot of problems my my first go through. Because it's technically a platforming bit. And if you touch the street, you automatically fail. I, I made it that time in one, but... How did that happen? It is still rough. Put Gringo on. Because those are my orders. I speak to Vyacheslav Gringo or nobody. As Gringo is served. This is Kedeman. We finished searching the American's apartment. There is nothing else there. If five more bolts, two cameras, and some electronics we can't ID. They are already on their way to the minute. Of course. Thank you, sir. Who is that? How the hell? How the hell? So I'm gonna I'm trying not to get into fights, obviously. But the invincibility is just insurance. <laughs> Same with the ammo cheat. That, that's mainly because shooting out lights is really difficult. <laughs> but, word of advice, do not always shoot out lights because you do have a, uh, you do have another way. 
with light switches. If you can find a light switch, turn off the light. They can turn it back on, but you should probably not be in an area long enough for that to matter. Where can I shoot this? Yes, I can. Nice. See how hard it is to shoot at a light sometimes? You have to aim close to the, uh, where it plugs in. It connects to the wall. It's also a med kit. Good to get that. Ooh, how did they not find us? Blaustein's heart stopped beating 43 hours ago. Any reason the CIA wouldn't know about this? Nope. Nicer than the share. The subdermal went offline six hours after he died. Last night, <clears throat> the position was in a police station a few blocks away. Check your opsat. Okay, opsat. Notes 091772. <laughs> now, Sam Fisher's voiced by Michael Ironside. I'll... One, nine. No. Uh, he is notably um, the voice of Darkseid in Superman the Animated Series. He is... He's been in a lot of really good movies. He's in that really bad film that uh, I think is in... Starship Troopers. He's in that really, really bad uh, visiting hours film Joe and I watched for Mindbreakers a few years ago. And he's also proudly fucking Canadian. Like, he's, um... I think he's in the Scanners. But he's in, um... He, he's from Toronto, originally. I am, I am Sam Fisher, enemy of light. Don't know why I'm shooting out every light, but it's something to do. Probably save before this jump. Yeah, cool. Why can't I get on the thing? <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. How do I get onto the
Uh, guess I gotta create my speed to. There we go. I'm standing on nothing. There we go. Fisher, I'm rescinding my street level restriction. We've been monitoring the Tbilisi police radio. These cops are as crooked as a Virginia fence. They're not going to want any more international attention than we do. Every road is open to you. Do what you got to do to find those missing spooks. Doors locked. Okay, so first we're going to Okay, it's clear-ish. Very easy lock picking, I will admit. Compared to something like the Saw game, I fucking love the Saw game. Or uh, or Skyrim, not so much. Or Oblivion, but Oblivion had auto pick, which is cool. See what I mean about lights being really hard to shoot? Possible assault. Can you send an ambulance? Copy that, Unit 3, but we're dealing with a warehouse fire, so expect delay. Roger that, dispatch. We'll wait with the victim. Unit 3 out. Assault? Something we can pin on Costa. It's I'm being attacked! Ah. Oh. I'm gonna take another stealthier shot at this. Roger that, dispatch. We'll wait with the victim. Unit 3 out. Assault? Something we can pin on Costa. <laughs> Good. You might be the single least observant police officer I've ever seen in anything ever. Like, shooting out the light alerts them, but just walking up and grabbing the guy he's talking to is like, I, I don't see anything wrong here. Freaking moron. <laughs> Okay, this is a much better approach. You're coming with me, buddy. Is this me or does he look like Sean Connery, James Bond? With this guy, this guy with his face. This is a lot more enjoyable since I can't die. And can... I will always try the stealth approach, but... If it doesn't work, I have an out. The god mode is really just insurance. We gotta take out that light. It's kind of ridiculous that it's impossible to not get their attention and take out the light. It says always shoot out lights, but it's often not what you want to do. You often don't want to shoot out a light. I'd shoot out this light if I fucking could hit it. Who is that? 
Your worst nightmare. How did that happen? I'm trying to see in the dark, forgetting I have fucking night vision. <laughs> Don't know why lights are so hard to shoot out in this world. I don't know why my bullets always go wild either. Gurgenzeed's dead drop, right. Okay, so I think I have information on my notes for Gurgenzeed's dead drop. Plus, East Morevi Square. Data. Finding her in Moravi Square. I think we're in Moravi Square. Okay. The hill? Was there information about what the dead drop is in his notes? I don't know how to read notes. It doesn't... The code? East of Moravi Square data. Uh, okay. Uh, Special Agent Tannehill, CIA informant. Secures clerical employment. Okay. Oh, from William Robert Blaustein to Jonathan Sutton. Sutton. Uh, Miss Sutton, I think we can stop dancing around the, wor the words Agent Madison is dead. Our only real question now is why, or more importantly, why Nicolad Nicolad's thought he could hide it from us. 
Your theory about her disappearance as a way to keep secret the connections between Georgian politics and the Russian mafia works, but it's but it's too easy. I wouldn't justify murdering a U.S. agent, and Nikolai knows we know how dirty he is. I think I'm being followed, though it's hard to separate paranoia from reason. In this part of the world, I suggest we start swapping digital signatures more often, maybe twice a week. For uh, keypad from my back door, pick up by 10 a.m. Say happy birthday, KF for me. I'll be back in VA for the next one. Okay. Secures a mention. Donation to Nikolai's campaign secures employment. Tbilisi suspicious data traffic. She's sharp and timid. She worked herself in. in there goes good. Okay. Real cowboy, good example of the old guard at Langley. What could the dead drop be? I remember nothing being said about the dead drop in any of those documents. It's a little hole. Cool. This is the dead drop. All right. Data stick picked up. Okay, data. You can you can be getting into the police station with the keypad combination of 5929. The way goes by the back way into the holding cells, who are best for 90 at night when the drunks are all passed out. Alright. Let's go! Where's a good place to put this guy? Can I fit him in the dead drop? Or should I just hide him behind the bushes? Yes, I can fit him in the dead drop! <laughs> nice, let's drop him here. There you go. Also, like there's a little animation for his hand moving the goggles.
All right. But I thought it was invincible. <laughs> I, the game and I seem to have different uh, definitions of invincible. Come on, Mr. Police Guy. I'm waiting for you.
You've been fissured. All right. <clears throat> Sorry I'm not being very loud, but, you know, stealth got us be quiet when you sneak. Okay, that's not exactly what I was going for, but at least I know my invincibility is working. Wish I could shoot out the sun. It's not exactly what I'm going for, even though this is kind of amusing. <laughs> Don't want to just murder him. That's not my plan. It's not the goal. I want to take him out. Properly. Is he humming if I was a rich man? Man of, uh, so you're a man of culture as well then. <laughs> I wouldn't have to work hard. Tradition. Tradition. I am Sam Fisher. And you are going to take a little nap. Oh. I like that there's almost never music unless uh, unless there's a, an action scene going on. Who is that? How 
the hell? Let's head in. I think uh, having the god mode and everything isn't making... Is... It, it's more about... Since I'm, I'm, I'm restarting when I get caught anyway. It's more um, like, a, like a placebo thing, I think. Okay, where is the police precinct, though? You realize that I know Sam Fisher may well be able to read this language. I can't! <laughs> you know that, right? I, I can't read this language? figured it out. These fucking lights are so hard to fucking hit. Alright. First things first. There's a guy and a bunch of lights right in the entrance. Yeah, it's gonna have to think about our approach here. Five nine two nine. Who is 
It's not good. Officer needs the system. Stop! 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 Jesus fucking Christ. Why would I kill you? I don't even know you. I beg of you. Don't kill me. Okay. I know pistol is last resort, but I had no other option with those guys. The door. Officer in trouble. I'm going to retake that, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the in the police station and call an episode and retake that next time. Cause I should not pro I probably shouldn't go as kill crazy as I've been going. But the cheats do help with my peace of mind. <sighs> Gonna make my entrance though. Goddamn hard. Don't know why it needs to be that goddamn hard. Anyway, we're gonna put in the key code and call an episode. And we're gonna make our entrance next time. Till then, ciao! Hi! Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!